What's going on guys, Kelvin here and welcome to 320 Tech. On my left hand I have the Apple Watch Series 3, on my right hand I have the Apple Watch Series 5. They both have the same watch face, using Clockology of course, but there is a slight difference between the two. Can you guys figure it out? Now at first glance, both the Series 3 and the Series 5 might look very very similar, but there is one key difference that you guys might not see at first, but when you guys realise what it is, it makes a massive difference. Have you guys figured it out yet? Okay, so I've been getting a ton and I mean a ton of questions from you guys asking me, Kelvin, why does my Apple Watch look different to everybody else's? And the quick answer for that is the bezels. The Apple Watch Series 3 was the last Apple Watch that featured a square and boxy display, as in, I'm a boxy display, I'm a boxy display. Mm -hmm. Alongside this boxy display, the Apple Watch Series 3 also had thick bezels and when I say thick, I mean thick with a triple C. Oh, that be thick as hell. Like if I had to compare the bezels between the Apple Watch Series 3 and the Series 5, the Series 5 is like my girlfriend's eyebrows and they be on Bali. And the bezels on my Series 3, well, the best you like my man brows. I mean, these things are thick. And when I say thick, I mean they are thick as hell. Can someone trim them for me? Jesus Christ, they're so damn thick, my God. We could probably a lot of fire with these things, man. They are so thick. All right, maybe the bezels on the Series 3 aren't this thick. I mean, this is pretty damn thick. So if you're someone with an Apple Watch Series 3 or below, and you guys are wondering why your watch face looks different to everybody else's, it's because of the thick bezels. By all means, every single one of you guys is still able to use Clockology to get custom third-party watch faces on your Apple Watch. But the only drawback is if you guys have an Apple Watch Series 3 or below, your watch face might look a bit cramped. I have tested hundreds, and I mean hundreds of different watch faces. Check out my top 10 watch faces of all time video if you guys don't believe me. And even though a majority of these watch faces look amazing, there are still quite a bit of them which look cramped and can be hard to see the information. Let me show you guys what I mean. As you guys can see, it's very, very possible to get great looking watch faces on your Apple Watch Series 3, but some of them will look cramped and it's up to you guys to decide if you're okay with that. Some are perfectly fine with their watch faces, others will think it looks very, very cramped. It's all based on personal preferences. Wait, 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 before you guys sell away your Apple Watch Series 3, just wait one second. There is one thing and that thing utilizes the OLED display. As you guys know, every single Apple Watch dating back to the very first Apple Watch Series 1 has included an OLED display. So what does this mean? I mean, what does it, I don't know what it means. Well, it means it's got great colors and excellent contrast, but more importantly, it's got true blacks. Now the best things about true blacks is it seamlessly fades into the bezels as if there are no bezels to begin with. So how can we use this to our advantage? Let me show you guys. Find a custom Apple Watch face that has a black background and no borders. Set it as your Apple Watch face using Clockology of course, and then bring up your watch and observe how the screen appears to be a part of the bezel. This is one of the best ways for all you Apple Watch Series 3 users and below to get a screen that feels as if it's much bigger than it actually is without having to spend a single cent. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys wanna see some more Clockology content in the future. Anyways, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time.